man here. So Beagle Bash 2023, uh, it seems fairly busy. There's a lot of people here. Um, I know the people that are racing are about to take off now. And then uh, I think Beaver Rider is going to do a little bit of trail riding. So uh, it's raining uh, very lightly. My feet are already soaked. I guess I have holes in my uh, whatever these are. Um, I'm about to get my gear on here and uh, we'll see. I I'm going to try to push through this one. I know last year I just got lazy and stopped. Uh, I don't even know if it was halfway through. Uh, I'm going to try to push. Need a little bit of throttle therapy. So anyways, let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, yeah. Holy, my arm pump is so bad right now. I, I literally can't, I just can't keep going. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Sometimes it just takes a little bit to get going. Okay. <laughs> finished about like a 20 15 kilometer road section and I have soaked to the bone but uh, I am back in the forest now so a little bit happy about that to help that guy because he's like on an angle but I think he was even too tired to move so he told me it's okay to go and that someone else will help him Thank you. 
That's been the most fun I've had in a while. That's the best beagle bash that I've been on so far. Holy, loved it. Kind of been riding mostly on my own, only because I just wanted to see what it was like not taking breaks. So, and I haven't, I came right here, like 60K, I think. Okay, let's fill up a gas. Okay, I gotta go bathroom, but, um. Okay, so we've got the gas stop done. Um, I looked at the thing, we're about 55K. Um, and this is the first trail after the gas stop, so. Uh, we're doing pretty good, I'm doing pretty good. I keep moving, which is great. Uh, love it, my arm pump is completely gone, so let's keep going. <laughs> So this has been about the muddiest oh, section that we've had and it's just, the snow like water mud, it's just really slick. My front tire refuses to stay in the, in the track. Oh, oh, God. oh yeah, I think I'm tired. That's, that was a hard section. Holy. Joan Orchard hit one of these trees in 2019, I believe. Oh. Pretty sure. I'm wondering if a peanut butter sandwich is, will help me. Got three in my bag. Trying to keep a, at least one foot on the peg at all times, but it's just a lot of foot dabbing. A lot of, uh, it's wet in here, slick, and a lot of, uh, you know, grooves that my front tire refuses to stay in. This has been the hardest section for me yet. Oh, I remember this section. Okay. Yeah. I figured this was coming. <laughs> Is it just the corner here? Uh, yeah, it's so far. It's as far as we got. Really sweet for the Euro. So. Oh, am I not allowed to pass you? Oh, yeah? This has been tough. Oh, my God. My feet are like dabbing all over the place. So I'm waiting for you guys. Okay, I'll let you guys go. Um, Otherwise, you'll end up where you're not supposed to. Yeah, okay. So, how about I just get out of here and then I'll wait for you guys to pass. So he kind of doesn't really want me to pass him. Oh. 
think. Because they have to go past and then they have to do some arrow changing. So I, I think I'm just gonna wait here. <sighs> Passing the sweep riders for the race. I'm not, I'm not fast by any means. It's just, I haven't taken a break. I just keep moving. I like it. My body is in rhythm. It's great. So these guys here in front are the sweep riders for enduro. So they're also looking out for the trail riders behind them just to kind of close off any sections that may not be appropriate or too dug out. I've seen China in a coal a couple times already. A hard section. The whole section is basically one break. Right. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't know. That's okay. I was looking for the sticker. Yeah, I didn't have the sticker. Sorry. <laughs> sticker. Well, it's a good time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Looks like there's a couple logs here. Yeah, they're last. Yeah, there's two. Uh, so the first two guys there are uh, one of the racers, and then these are the sweep for the racers. These uh, four here. So don't go in front of them because apparently there's they're changing arrows up there. here would have made a lot of people quit I think. Ha! I mean it's technical so it's nice. I kind of like you know this slow type riding but it's tough. It's really tough. So this is one of the test sections. Uh, all the, uh, the racers have gone through, so these people are done now, and then we're just kind of hanging out here just to let the sweep riders go ahead a bit because they've got um, some arrows to change, so it's kind of a nice little break. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little bit of a breather. Maybe eat a cookie. I am pooched. I think we might be coming up to the end here. All right, I'll eat my cookie in peace. Where are you going? Is that what they did? They can't. They, is that really deep? Obviously. Where are the two the two guys that just came. Oh, they did? Yeah, yeah 
Beaver. That was deep, but it just seemed like a better option than uh, going through the jungle like that guy. I've heard we're about a mile away from the start. Oh man, Team Beaver, we are just rocking today. Holy. We are meshing, Beaver and I. He would be proud of himself if he knew that I was riding him. accomplishment for me right there I did the whole Pico Bash 120 kilometers very limited brakes because I just find that if I break it's just all over uh, your body gets out of that rhythm and uh, it was tough but I pushed I did it and I really feel accomplished so good so good all right oh yeah I am hurting Wow, man, out. 